Welcome to WQLN PBS. I'm Miss Molly, and today we are going to talk about fall landscapes artist. We're going to learn all about what happens to trees in the fall. We're going to do some fun art projects. I've got a great story for you, and we're also going to have a special guest. Now, my little friend is an artist, and she wanted to learn a little bit more about leaves. She went outside to go find some leaves, and we're just waiting for her to get back. <gasps> oh, I think she's here. Oh, Jean Marie, come on in. Artist, yeah. this is my artist friend. Have a seat, Jean Marie. Hi. Now, Jean Marie, you brought something. Uh-huh. Yeah? Uh-huh. Where, where did you find what's in here? Uh, leaves. You found some leaves? Uh-huh, different kinds of leaves. Oh, different kinds of leaves. Well, let's get some of these leaves out. Can you show us what kind of leaves you found? Ooh, look at this leaf. What color would you say that is? Yellow. A yellow leaf? Do you have any more in there? This is a beautiful yellow leaf. No. Oh, another yellow leaf, but this one has a little bit of green and brown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you see that? What else? Do you have more in there? Uh-huh. You do? You found a lot of leaves. Oh, wait a second. These are the leaves I know. These colors are... Green. Green. And then this one. Oh my gosh, this one has what, what color is that? Uh, red. Red is in there. So I'm used to seeing green leaves on the trees. Yeah, they're all. Those are all the leaves? These are great leaves. I usually see green leaves, but why is this turning yellow? Do you know? Because it's a yellow leaf. It's a yellow leaf. Do you know what's happening right now? No. Fall or uh -huh. autumn. So the leaves are starting to change. Have you noticed when you're driving around your car, you're walking and hiking, uh -huh. you see these green leaves on the trees are starting to turn yellow and red There's and brown. There's a little black on them. A little black, a little brown. Eventually it's going to turn brown. These trees are getting ready for winter. Oh. Yeah, the, then they'll all fall off. They're all going to fall off, and then we can rake up a big pile. Huh. Yeah. Well, let's look at some artists artwork, some famous artist artwork. Okay. These are some fall landscapes. Do you know what a landscape is? No. No. Do you guys know what a landscape is? A landscape is a picture of outside. <gasps> Can you say landscape? Landscape. Is a picture? Is a picture? Of outside. Of outside. So here's our fall landscape here. Where did you get this from? Oh, that's just our messy mat. Hmm. Okay, so let's look at our fall landscape here. Do you see this? Look yeah. at those leaves. What colors are those? Green and red and orange. Yeah, they're starting to turn colors, huh? Uh-huh. How about this one? They're kind of greenish and brown. Yeah, they're turning greenish and brown, so they start turning brown when they were really dead, right? Mm-hmm. All right, look at this landscape. Oh, we got a nice autumn sunset, don't we? Mm-hmm. And, and a Paris tower. A Paris tower. Yeah, we have a big tower in there, don't we? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you can see the leaves are changing on the trees. Yeah. There are all these warm colors. Do you know warm colors are red, yeah. yellow, and orange? Yeah, because warm means, red means it's really hot. Yeah. Oh, yes. Red means hot. Hey, there's also an artist that makes artwork with leaves. <gasps> he took all these leaves outside and formed an artwork, and then he took a picture of it. Isn't that amazing? And then did he send it to you? Well, it's probably hanging in a very um, famous art museum. He's a famous, famous artist named Andy Goldsworthy. Huh. So could you do something like this at home? Could you go find leaves and make art? Yeah, but we don't really have much falling off yet. Yeah, you will soon, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. They also have fall in other countries. What? That yeah. looks like it snowed there before they all fell off. Oh, you think? Because look, because it's like a little white. Oh, maybe that's really just light. Mm -hmm. It looks white, but I think it's just really light. There's a little bridge. But you see the trees. The mm -hmm. tops of the trees are turning colors, and down here we have some trees turning colors. Yeah. yeah. So in fall, our trees are getting ready for the winter. They're mm -hmm. going to hibernate. Hey, 
Do you want to do a little finger play about um, autumn leaves? Yeah. Yeah, artists at home, do you want to join us for our finger play about leaves? All right. Well, uh, we're going to go stand up over here. You guys find a spot to stand up. You're going to need a little bit of space. All right. Oh, gee, this is a good spot for our movement, huh? Uh-huh. All right. Hey, you ready for the finger play? Uh-huh. About autumn leaves? Mm hmm OK, the first line goes, autumn winds begin to blow. And then we go like this. Okay. All right, ready? Autumn winds begin to blow. Then the second line is, colored leaves fall fast and slow. Colored, colored leaves fall, fall fast, fast and, and slow. Tw and now careful when you're twirling. Twirling, whirling all around. Twirling, whirling all around. Till at last they touch the ground. Till at last they, they touch, touch the, the ground. ground. You think we can put it all together? Yeah. All right, let's do it together. Remember, we're going to blow. We're going to have falling leaves. Mm -hmm. We're going to twirl. And then we touch the ground. OK. You ready? Autumn winds begin to blow. And colored leaves fall fast and slow. Whirling, whirling all around till at last they touch the ground. Let's do it one more time. Okay. Did you mess that part up? I know, right? Autumn winds begin to blow. Colored leaves fall fast and slow. Twirling, whirling all around till at last they touch the ground. Oh, Jean Marie, that was so much fun. We learned that autumn has winds that blow. Mm -hmm. We learned that colored leaves fall fast and slow. Mm -hmm. We learned that sometimes they twirl in the world, and then eventually all the leaves go to the ground, don't they? Uh -huh. Right, artist? Hey, you want to color some uh, leaves? Yeah. Yeah. Artist, we're going to need to get some supplies for our art project. We need yeah. a coffee filter, messy mat, washable markers, and maybe a squirt bottle of water. If you don't have that, we could probably use a little damp um, paper towel. Go get those supplies and come on back. Oh, gee, Marie, you got it all set up. Way to go. So we are going to make some leaves using some colors, some washable colors. So I have my washable markers here. I have found my coffee filters. Yeah, and our leaf. Right. If you have a, a older helper at home, what I did was I folded this in half, and then I cut my leaf shape out like this. So then it's symmetrical. That means same on both sides. Mm -hmm. All right, so then we have that, and then we have our water bottle. Oops, I forgot my water bottle. Do you see it over there? You want to go grab that, Jean Marie? I'm going to get my table all set up, just like you should have your table all set up. I, I have my messy mat here. Jean Marie's getting our water bottle. We're going to make some leaves, all sorts of different colors, just like the ones Jean Marie found outside and brought in. Right? Yeah. OK. So here we go. Can I get a big leaf? Oh, here. These are our choices. You take whatever leaf you want. Uh, and we're going to color this with markers. I'm going to take this one. You're going to take that one? It looks like a tree. Looks Find like a tree. tree. Yes, it kind of does. This one doesn't have a stem. Jean Marie's has a stem. Some leaves have stems on them like this. I like that. That's them. a big, long stem. You, that's your favorite leaf? Mm -hmm. All right, oh. so I'm going to open my marker. You pick a marker that you would like. Heck. And I'm going to color my coffee filter. I'm Do going right off the page. you one color? You don't have to color it one color. On this one, uh, you can see I colored red and orange and yellow, and I even got a little green in there. But what's this color? Red. That looks like pink. Yeah, it looks like pink because we're going to squirt some water on it, and then yeah, our pink. colors are going to blend together. Artist, can you say blend? Blend. blend. Now I think it gets on us. Like our fingers? That's okay, because they're washable. Now, I'm overlapping my next color. Do you see that, Jean Marie? Uh -huh. I've gone on top of the red. And I'm going all the way off the page. Maybe I get some yellow in here. 
If you have these broad tip markers, you can use the side of it. And I think I might put a little green in here. I'm really slow at coloring. You're taking your time. That has good craftsmanship. Remember I say that raccoon? I said that's how I'm going to color it. Mm-hmm. Now, you don't have to color all the areas. If you want to skip some spots, that's okay, too, because when we go ahead and squirt the um, coffee filter with the water, everything's going to kind of blend together. Oh, gee, Marie, you did a fine job. Mm -hmm. Artist at home, are you about done coloring? We got the next step. Next step is we're going to squirt it with some water and watch these colors blend together. Can you do yours first? I'll do mine first and then Jean Marie, you can do yours. Mm -hmm. So I have my water and I'm going to give it some squirts. <gasps> Whoa. Artists at home, do you see how they're starting to blend together? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to let this dry and then we can hang it up on our refrigerator or wherever you like at your house looking at those fall leaves. Yeah, give it a couple more squirts. Look how that just, it rolls together. So her purple's going into the red, the green's going into the green and the orange. Just like on our leaves, we have all these different colors blending together. Oh, that looks perfect. We got a lot of water here and that's okay because it's gonna dry. So find a spot for it to dry and hang it up when you're done and look at all the beautiful colors it's gonna look You'll see maybe even some water spots. But mine might be a little because I did rainbow. Oh yes, you did rainbows. All right. Oh, Jean Marie, that was so much fun coloring those leaves and watching them all blend. Listen, I found this terrific book called Leaf Man and it's by Lois Ellert. Lois Ellert is an author and illustrator. Do you know what an author is? No. An author is someone that writes the story and the illustrator does the pictures. Now, Lois Ellert would walk around outside and see these beautiful leaves on the ground and she couldn't resist picking them up. She would pick them up and carry them in a bag like you did, Jean Marie. Mm -hmm. And then when she got home, she would press the leaves. That means she would put it in a book and okay. press it and the leaf would stay nice and flat. You know how sometimes leaves get crumply. Well, she had a big collection of leaves and she decided to make some art with her leaves. She made Leaf Man. And Leaf Man goes on lots of adventures in the story. And look, she will um, turn leaves into plants and animals that Leaf Man finds along the way. Leaf Man, Lois Ellert. Leaf Man used to live near me in a pile of leaves. But yesterday, the wind blew Leaf Man away. He left no travel plans. The last time I saw him, he was heading east, past the chickens. Look at those chickens. Toward the marsh, over the ducks and geese, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. Got ducks and geese. This looks like the goose with the longer neck. He blew over the fields of pumpkins and winter squash. Got our circles here for our pumpkins, our squashes. Flew over the turkey, past the potatoes, carrots and cabbages in rows. Part of the turkey's beak, the feathers and wings. Then he blew out of sight. Is he drifting west above the orchards? Orchard is a tree with some fruit on it. Or over the prairie meadows. And past the spotted cows. Well, a leaf man's gotta go where the wind blows. Maybe a leaf man's gliding on a lake breeze. 
These look like some fish and turtles. Here's another fish with the little eyeball. Uh-oh, look at this fish. It looks like he's about to eat him. Or flying along the river. Following butterflies going south. Well, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. He might even be traveling north, above the trees that look like him. Look at our maple leaves here, the veins. Or flying over the mountains with a flock of birds. They've used a lot of different shapes here to create these birds. All done with leaves. When a leaf man looks down on earth, is he lonesome for home? This I do know, where a leaf man will land, only the wind knows. So listen for a rustle in the leaves. Maybe you'll find a leaf man waiting to go home with you. Look, he's upside down. Look at this one, has like a dress on. And then look, we have all these different types of leaves. This is a cottonwood, linden, birch leaf, fig leaf, poplar, beech, hawthorn, all different shapes and sizes. Some are bigger and some are smaller. Some are yellow, some are red, some have a variety of the colors in the leaf. I hope you enjoyed watching The Adventures of Leaf Man. Like our author and illustrator, we're going to create our own Leaf Man using leaves and things found in nature. So I got a collection of leaves. If you could go get some leaves with your adult. And um, I had a hard time finding little acorns, so I have some googly eyes, and that's okay. Or you could use some like dried beans, and then I have some glue, and I like to sometimes use a glue brush with a little cup, and I'll use that. We're going to create our own leaf person or leaf creature, putting together our leaves and our beans or whirly gigs, whatever you find out in nature. So go gather up your supplies, and we'll come back and put together our own leaf creature or person. All right, I have my supplies set up. I have my paper that I'm gonna make my leaf person on. I have a glue brush, I have a little cup of glue, and I have a big pile of leaves. I'm gonna lay these leaves out and see what inspiration I can get. Ooh, I'm thinking maybe that looks like a good head. And then what could I use for the body? Maybe I can combine some. These are all kind of the same sort of shape. They're all slightly different, but they all are like a teardrop shape. Maybe that's the body. And I'm looking for some arms and legs. Oh, I have so many choices here, it's hard to choose. Maybe here's an arm. It's okay if your paper, if your art goes off your page. Here's another one. Maybe we need some feet. To make this look symmetrical. Do you like how I'm overlapping? That means I'm placing my one leaf underneath the other. You could overlap on top, but I like it better underneath like this. I did find some whirly gigs outside. Have you ever seen these? They come flying out of the sky off of maple tree. These are interesting. I wonder if maybe I could even make a little crown with them. Have you noticed that some of my leaves are green, some are brown? I wonder what it would be like if I got a yellow one in here. What could I do with my yellow one? It could be part of their shirt. 
or it could be their mouth. I could even take this and use that little line for their mouth. Maybe it's a nose. Oh, I'm liking that. It was a good idea. Now I need those eyeballs. I had a hard time finding eyeballs outside. I couldn't find any acorns, but I do have some googly eyes, so I could use those. But maybe you have some of those acorn caps or little pine cones. Really like these little Japanese maples. I'll make that part of there. Overlap it like that. When you're ready, you have your all your your person all ready to go and laid out. You can go ahead and start gluing your items down. I'll paint a little glue on the back. Get a little glue for my mouth. Ooh. I need some persistence here. I'm going to put a little glue here for the head. Let me use, let me move this out of the way. I'm going to take two hands and put this head over there. Now I'll get those crown. Do you have to make a crown? No, you could do whatever you want. If you have a different vision, go for it. Everybody should look different. When this glue dries, it should dry clear. We'll have to let it sit for a little bit. These whirly gigs might need a little bit more glue because they're pretty kind of thick and heavy. I'll do a couple dots for my eyes. Move down to his body or her body. Or their body. All the way around the edges. Turn it over, two hands. Gently press it. Maybe I'll do my legs next. I wonder what kind of adventures our leaf person is going to go on. Where will the wind blow? I think I'm, I'm changing my mind. I think I'm going to leave that. Maybe I make these my arms or my hands. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? Those look like fingers, don't they? Sometimes when I'm doing my art, I change my mind while I'm working. Something else seems to be working out better. Lots of artists do that. really excited about my change. I'm glad I, I tried that. All right, now I have to decide. Do I have enough there? Do I want any more overlapping? I really look like I need some contrast here with his body, her body, their body. Maybe I'll overlap that lighter leaf on the dark green. Part of the design of their outfit. There. So we were able to use different colors of leaves and different shapes of leaves. And when we glued them and combined them all together, we created our leaf person like our author and illustrator did. Wow, artists, we got a lot accomplished today. Jean Marie, I'm so glad you were able to join us and bring these beautiful leaves that you found. We learned about fall and why leaves turn colors. The tree's getting ready for winter, right? When he's gonna be doing a little bit of hibernating. We learn about how to make our fall colors on our leaves and we watched them blend. I like this one. Right, we created our own leaf creatures and we read an amazing book by Lois Ellert. 
about Leaf Man and where the wind blew him. And we also looked at a lot of different famous artworks. Jean Marie, I had so much fun. I hope you did too. For, or um, artist, thank you so much for joining us at WQLN PBS, where learning's brought to life. Can you say goodbye? Bye.